So I was very fortunate to receive a copy of this book from Skittle Dog Book. Um, this is a new release. It's a collage book. If you're familiar with this um, Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage Maria Ribbons, it's very similar in size. Like it's a nice big size. It's maybe just a little bit thinner, but the quality of the pages is very similar. Um, I'm going to do a little flip through. Uh, this has like a nice cover. You can actually cut this out and use that. They give examples of collages. Um, so cut up this book and create your own wonderland. So they talk about, you know, just like the other book um, that I showed, it talks about tools and materials and, you know, building collages. And then it has lots of um, images. At the back of the book, it has a source guide of where they got all these images. So I'm going to be using this in some collage. Uh, so I wanted to do a flip through while it's still um, full before I cut anything out. Um, but the paper is, is a good thickness. It's not too thick, but not thin. It's definitely not, it's got a nice um, smooth finish, but it's not super glossy. It's very similar to the paper in the, the other book I showed you. And um, it has lots of nice images. And they have them in groupings. So you know, we have birds, the bird section here. Lots of birds, and then we have aquatic animals, and then we have some mammals. And you might recognize some of these images um, because when I show you the index where it says where these images are from, um, they're like copyright free sources. So I do love this one. I don't think I've seen that one anywhere. This one too. So a lot of fun images, that's cute. Uh, so this is my initial impressions of this book. Um, this, interesting, this is from a tapestry. I just watched a video about unicorns and it uh, described this tapestry. Uh, there's a whole story about uh, unicorns in that. And some fun, look at that little guy, that's so cute. Well, that's freaky. I'll do a collage project to just sort of demo some of this. I uh, haven't decided what I do yet. I like to just kind of go, you know, with the flow. Some nice dogs, nice cats, some architecture. That might go good in my magical forest journal. More architecture. So if you're building your own world like Dee Dee Willingham does, these would be good... Um, images to use. Then we have some signage, some fun signage. This one's kind of funny. Some nautical things, automobile, transportation. And then it also has some larger images that you can use um, in your collages. These could be a base for a collage. I think they show some examples in the front with that one. And some postcards. And then uh, they have this credit page where they have a list uh, where they source their images. So that's also uh, a good reference for you as well. This book is uh, 2023. It says the co cover il illustrations are copyright Maria Rivens, who is the actually the author of this other book here. So that's interesting. Because I don't believe the author is Maria Rivens, but they um, obviously you know have her support in making these. So you can do traditional collage where you just, you know, cut out the images. Um, I like to do that. I also like to do Dee Dee Willingham style collages where you use images and you make a mixed media piece. So you would add paint and whatnots to that. Uh, I just want to mention too, um, I have this issue with the um, other book that I showed, The Extraordinary Things to Cut a Collage. The, the thickness of the paper is great, but sometimes I find that pages stick together. So like when I went to this next page, 
they kind of stuck together. So it's not very difficult to accidentally cut through two pages. So just be very careful. Make sure that you only have, you know, one page there before you cut out. Um, you do have to fussy cut. They do provide um, an outline. So you could leave uh, the outline if you want. What I usually do is I just kind of rough cut it first. So before you rough cut, make sure you just have one page. So I have done that in the other book several times where I've cut through two pages and not been very happy about it. So, so you can either, you know, follow this line or you can fussy cut right up to the edge, uh, whatever suits the collage that you're doing. So I just wanted to, um, make a note of that. Another tip I want to talk about is one from Dee Dee Willingham where I learned about fussy cutting and basically you just slowly close your scissor. A lot of you probably know this already but for those that don't you just close your scissor slowly while you rotate the paper and then that way you can it's a little bit smoother and you can be a little bit um, quicker rather than you know trying to chop it out. So that's just another little thing I wanted to mention. Um, you, there's also tools you can use. You can use an X-Acto knife to cut out. Uh, if you use a cutting um, board, let me go get my cutting board. Cutting mat, you can either use a craft knife. So something like that, you could use that to, to cut out. Let's just go here for a second. Um, so you could do that. And uh, they also make swivel blades. So this one's by Fiskars. And this little blade here uh, rotates around. So you can see. So the blade actually rotates. So that's another way you can cut out and collage. I like my little... Uh, fussy cutting scissors here. These are old ones from close to my heart. They're nice and thin edged. Um, I hear Tim Holtz makes a good one. Um, I'm sure there's lots of good uh, good scissors for collaging. Whatever you you know works for you. Whatever you find comfortable. So I'm cutting out all these little fronds, but I suspect I might just um, depending on how I use this piece, I might end up just cutting those off and just using a gel pen to draw on some little spiky things. So just because an image has something in it doesn't mean you have to use all portions of that image. So just food for food for thought. And if you've never tried collage, um, give it a go. I highly recommend watching Dee Dee Willingham. I will link her below. She has lots of uh, great mixed media collages, uh, but there's lots of great collage artists out there and just see what style you like. And then as you play, you might develop your own style of, you know, colors you like to use, images you like to use. I kind of go more by color, but there's lots of different ways to approach collage. Something like this and you want to cut out the, uh, like the inside, there's two ways of going about it. Uh, one is you could use an X-Acto knife or a system like this and you could cut it out like that. Or you could do it fully or you could even just get it started and then get your fussy cutting scissors in there to finish it. Like that. Um, but I've also seen Dee Dee do... Um, do a little trick, because uh, if you're gonna be gluing something down anyhow, you might not be able to tell if you actually cut the image. So I'll show you that. So that's you know one way I can clean that up. The other way is you just cut along your edge and then you can get right in there and fussy cut it. Now, I don't think Dee Dee has a specific um, video about fussy cutting, but whenever she does a stream, she repeats um, a lot of her tips. So um, once you start watching her, you 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 just kind of go down a rabbit hole. So there, see how it's so that's cut, but when you glue it down, you can't tell. 
or you could use that to like interlock something, right? You could use that as to your advantage. So another idea reminds me of another tip by Dee Dee. So when you have a small area like right here, so there's actually a post here, you can either ignore that post and just, you know, cut through it, or you could glue it down and then you could paint out that area. Um, or if the background is a similar color, you could just leave it. I have another tip from Dee Dee. If you're cutting out something like a butterfly where there's antenna, you just you can just cut the butterfly, the main part, cut the antenna off, and then just draw them back on. Uh, the other thing I want to mention um, Dee Dee talks about too is let's say you have something, let's find something with some detail. So this, for example, let's say you don't want to fussy cut all around that. If you, and again, just double check that you don't have two pages. If you rip it or even like fussy rip it then when you go around it um, it's easier to blend it if you're painting if you're doing a mixed media collage when you're painting you can blend in ripped edges easier than you can um, cut edges so that's another another dd inspiration on fussy cutting for you mushrooms here that would be a good candidate to just um either fussy cut the outside or rip the outside and then just paint in where you have all these spots there. I don't know that I'm gonna wanna have that little piece sticking out. I did cut around it using that technique where you slice it, but you could, don't have to keep everything. So I might decide I don't even want that. So you can just cut it off. So you can't really even tell that it's missing. So you don't have to keep everything that's in the image if it doesn't suit you. Tip I just thought of, um, I don't know if this is a DD tip or not, but let's say you don't um, like the color, especially if it's like a lighter thing. Let's say, you know, I like that flower, but I wanted um, something pink. So you could take um, an alcohol marker. Let's do orange. Let's say I wanted this part orange. So you can colorize. And then I want these edges, these ones here. Especially when for black and white images, it's very easy to colorize um, this type of paper using alcohol markers. And let's say I want some more yellow on the inside. Like this edge here. And I'm gonna be cutting this out, so doesn't really matter if I go outside the lines too much. So I would do this uh, before you totally fussy cut it. And I'm just gonna blend that a little bit. You could even add some pink. That's why you have to put this under because it's going to go through. So you definitely have to cut it out of your book first. Otherwise you might wreck the images below it. And then we can touch up any areas after we cut it out if we want to. Made, made another one with a different uh, color scheme. And another food for thought is you can actually use your things you cut out as negative space. So you could use that in a collage. You know, it's the negative space um, around what you cut out. So this is the, oops, excuse me, this is the positive, this is the negative. So you could put that over top of something else and it gives you a different look. So that's another thought. So here's one of the collages I made using um, some of those images you saw me cutting out. And I just glued them down with uh, Eileen's tacky glue and a little bit of uh, glue stick but you could use uh, matte medium on them as well. And then the rest is from uh, another video I did for the Makers Creative Collab. And I explained um, the other elements um, in that video, which is just my previous video. If you wanna check that out, uh, you can do that. So this is the flip through I did for this book. Cut this book up and create your own wonderland. And um, I enjoyed it. The paper is really nice quality and you can find it at the retailers, Amazon, Indigo, I think. Um, 
probably other places, just uh, Google it. Um, so thank you, Skittle Books, for sending me this uh, book to review. I enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a great creative day. Bye.